hello everyone now we're gonna start with because we are done with installing the python setting up the environment now we're gonna start with uh, what is python so let's have a look at a quick definition it says python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language which can be used for many purposes like you know data science app development automation web development game development artificial intelligence mathematical operations and many more so if you are if you're someone who is pretty much interested in knowing what is the history behind python when it was developed who developed it how it evolved and all i highly recommend you to just have a look on wikipedia because what i feel is there isn't any other reference we can which can explain more about the historical things and in evolvement of this particular thing better than this wikipedia page right so i highly recommend you to just have a look on this particular thing and you would have a very detailed understanding about its history and the way it has evolved now because here we are learn uh, here we are to learn through examples so i am directly going to take you to the python ide and let's start with that okay before we start further i would just say if you are someone who has programming background i would suggest you are welcome to skip this video or you can just watch this video on double speed okay so there are two ways we can write the python scripts python codes either in command prompt or on python ide so let's start with the python ide i'll i'll just start with python ide in the start menu all that you need to do is just type python and here you gotta go get the suggestions and just click this particular thing here you have the python open right you can just start writing the codes over here if you are interested in writing it in command prompt what you can do is just write cmd in the run box and over here you can just say pi and let's see if this works oh it worked now if you get this kind of information if you see over here python 3.10 this is the uh, current version which we installed you saw that in the previous video then great you are landed with python in command prompt as well so because i'm going to co start coding with python id i'm going to minimize that command prompt over here let's start with like i said if you're someone who has some technical background or programming background you can just skip this video or you can watch this on double speed if you are an absolute beginner to the programming things this is going to be for you right like i said that python is a interpreted uh, programming language so what does that means is let's say if you want to uh, if if you tell python python do this two plus one then python will understand and it will give you the answer three okay but if you write the same thing in any other applications for example in powerpoint or for example uh, what we can say is let's say notepad hmm? if you write in over here two plus one then it does nothing because it is just writing what you're saying uh, while python is an interpreted language so it just performs whatever instruction you give it to it all right so hope you understood it right now let's say what all are the mathematical things like you operate the calculator so all the things which you operate on your calculator that thing can be done over here all right so let's say you have let's start with addition the way i just showed it to you so let's say five plus four here you got the answer nine if you say five minus four you get the answer one this is addition subtraction let's talk about multiplication let's say 5 multiplied by 2 you get the answer 10 let's say 8 divided by if you want to divide it you can just use this particular thing and then 8 divided by 2 you get 4 right so this was addition subtraction multiplication and division now if you talk about the brackets so let's say you have here bracket 9 plus 2 and then 2 then here you get the answer 9 plus 2 is 11 to the 22 so it works the same way the board mass works right 
similarly it works now you might come up with a question what all are the mathematical operations that you can perform that i'll just show you a list but before that let me uh, draw your attention to the division part here what we did is we divided 8 by 2 and we got the quotient which is 4.0 right let's say if you are interested in getting the remainder what is the answer let's say you divide 9 by 2 so what you get is 4.5 but you are interested in getting the remainder how, how are you gonna do that so for that you say 9 and double forward slash you put double forward slash and then put 2 let's see if this works so here you get 4 why is that so so you gotta say 2 4 8 oh sorry this is if you when you use double forward slash it gives you the rounded quotient here you, here you got 4.5 but here you are getting just 4. So it rounded the quotient. You didn't understand that? Let's say 15 and then double forward slash and then you put 2. Here you get 2 7 to 14 but you, you are left with 1 that is not coming over here. But if you did 15 divided by 2 you get 7.5. Hope you understood when you are interested in getting the rounded or flowed quotient if you are interested in getting the floor quotient you're gonna just use double uh double this double forward slash if you want to get exact quotient then you can just use the single slash all right just i just hope that you understood this thing now the all the mathematical operations which you can perform over here in python are these you can just pause the screen and go through this and you can understand that right i'll i'll just take a reference and i'll try to explain some of this uh, or maybe many of them i have already explained whatever is remaining i'm just going to explain it to you so let's jump back in the python now i was telling you let's say nine and you divide it by two so you are interested in getting the remainder part whatever is remaining so let's say nine and uh, if you divide 9 by 2 what what you are left with what is the remainder tell me the answer the remainder is 1 because 2 4 is 8 and you left left with 1 so if you want to get that remainder part how are you going to do that for that you're going to use modulus 9 which is generally represented by percent symbol 9 percent 2 and if you say enter then you gotta get this particular thing all right so 9 modulus 2 is 1 all right let me give you an, an ex another example 15 modulus let's say 2 then you gotta get this all right let's say you are writing 23 modulus 3 what you get is 2 because 3 7 is 21 and what you, you are left with is 2 so this is how you can use all these mathematical operations hold on now there is one more thing if you want to find the square of something or maybe exponent of something what you can do is so this is the number i want to find i want to have its exponent by 2 then you get 25 5 exponent 5 then you get this thing 11 exponent 2 here you got 121 so this is how just use double star and you get the exponent of that so I just hope that it was clear to you. Just in case, uh, just in case, if you have any doubt, put that into the comment section. I would, I would strongly recommend you to just go through this and try to uh, practice this thing as much as you can. Because if you don't practice, we are not going to end up anywhere, right? If you practice, then it will help you. If you don't practice it, it is not going to help you in any way right so i'm just trying to keep the videos short so that it could be kind of interesting in the next video we will be discussing about the variables how the vari what are the variables and how those are created how those are assigned until then happy learning happy practicing and all the best